today we are talking in box zero. Yes, it is possible, I promise. Stay tuned to see how I handle my Gmail inbox, how we sort things, how I make sure nothing falls through the cracks, make sure I know who I need to reply to and who is ready to pay me. Who doesn't wanna know that, right? Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And today you are getting the long awaited redo of my Inbox Zero video. The last one was kind of like a live in my Facebook group and let's just do it and show you how it works. This time I am really making sure you see all of the steps, all the things that need to get done, all the things, how they work. There's two different approaches to this. So we're gonna be talking about all of this and make sure you are ready to redo your Gmail inbox so you can reach Inbox Zero. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's head on over to my inbox. Let's get your Gmail inbox set up so you can make it a efficiency machine. First, we need to enable the multiple inboxes. So go into your settings and we need to go into the advanced settings and find the multiple inboxes and enable that. Save changes. And by the way, there is a couple of nice things in here too. So go dig into that and see if there is a couple other features you might like. Now, Gmail is refreshing so that the new feature is fully integrated. After this refresh, multiple inbox for Gmail is set. So we need to go back into the settings. And now you have that tab up here that says multiple inboxes. And you can see all of that. Look at it. It already started. The first one is start and the second panel as drafts. Now that the multiple inbox feature is set and enabled in your inbox, we now have an additional tab right here called multiple inboxes. We need to move things around a little bit. Right now, the multiple inboxes are just above the inbox and it's just the same list as we had before. To be able to have the two column log, we need to switch it over to the right side of the inbox and save changes. And we are going back into settings, multiple inbox, we already have a couple queries in here. We'll get to this in a minute because right now, your inbox still looks like before. We don't want that. Going back in here, we need to configure your inboxes. That will allow us to really sort it and put those two columns in. Now, we need to take out social promotion and really just have the primary right there that takes away the tabs on top and as you can see a whole bunch of stuff just moved around and we now have two columns now that we have those two columns on the left hand side is going to be your regular inbox on the right hand side is the customized feature that we are going after going back into your settings and into multiple inboxes these panels right here allow you to get different sections on that right hand side what i use that and you can do all kinds of things over there um using the stars and the exclamation mark and the check mark and all of those things that you have right now we only have the yellow star to get more of those stars we need to go into our settings and go into your general right down here are your stars and you can move reorder add all the things that you would like to have i usually use the yellow one i use that puppy that one the exclamation mark choose some that makes sense to you when you're looking at them that you have an icon that tells you right away what you need to do with that email that's how i choose those and you also can rearrange them so when you click through the star that order that you see right here is going to be your order that shows up when you are clicking through one thing also you should know is when you are hovering over those 
you see the name of them and we need that label to now set up your right column in your inbox. Now let's go over to multiple inboxes and I'm gonna go quick right here. I use the same setup in every single email inbox of mine. And we just pull in those search queries, which just to have three right here is has, meaning it has some kind of a tag on there. And that specific tag is our orange stuff. In this one, it's the red bang. And then you got the orange thing. Don't we love German accent? Another thing you can do is also use labels for this. So I, for example, have a label that's called newsletter. I have set up a filter that uses my newsletters at Ask Evie, which I sign up for all of my newsletters with so it doesn't go into my regular email. And it filters those and automatically applies the label newsletter. So newsletter emails get automatically sorted out and then put into that panel. Now we also have section names over here and those section names is the name that's gonna be shown right on top of that specific section. Now let's put the last one in too. We have the green check mark, which is for things that I need to save and just have in front of me. Maximum page size, that shows you how many of those conversations are gonna be in those boxes on the right hand side. Now let's save changes and see what it did. You see, now we have leads right here, to do and reply, waiting on client, the newsletters and save. Now, one last thing I want to show you is how do we get emails into newsletter and automatically apply that label? If you go into settings again and you go into filters, we can add, create a new filter. This filter is going to be newsletter at askevie.com. No subject or anything. This is the email I use to sign up for all newsletters. So all my newsletters are coming to this specific email. This is the one data point I have. Now we will create a filter for that. We will skip the inbox. That means your email is never gonna be on the left-hand column. It's automatically gonna move into your right-hand column. If you don't say skip inbox, it will also be in the left-hand column because that is your standard inbox. Everything goes in there. So think about it. If it's just a newsletter and you really just want to sort them over in a different box, you want to be able to see them, but you don't want them to clutter up your inbox, say skip inbox. If it's a client email and you just want to mark them as a lead or something, do not skip that inbox. Mark them. You can mark them with a label, with a client label, which you hopefully have set up when the client got onboarded. Get them labeled with their label, but keep them in the inbox because you will be sorting them right from there. And then we apply the label and I don't even have a newsletter label in this account yet. You can nest them underneath another label too. We'll just keep this as the main label. So we'll skip the inbox. So it's not going to end up in the left column, just in the right column. We'll apply the label newsletter. There is no matching conversations right now. If you have emails that already match this criteria and you have in here, apply the filter to 10 messages, 12 messages, whatever that is. I always recommend checking this one too so that this automation gets applied to your existing emails and not just future emails. And then you create filter. It's that simple. Now, Going back to your inbox, what's now going to happen if you are getting a new email to that newsletter email, it's going to skip this box right over here and go automatically right in there because we set up the filter that assigns the label newsletter and we told that column and that specific tab that the label newsletter is supposed to go 
right in there. Let me know in the comment section how you like your new Gmail inbox setup. Or is it just too confusing for you and you just want them all in one list? And once a week, you just archive them all. Let me know in the comment section. Now that you got all of that set up, tell me below, what are you gonna do with all of the time you're suddenly gonna have? And if you know anybody else that is struggling with their Gmail inbox, go share the video, go make their life a little bit easier. Give me a thumbs up, let me know if it helped you or if you're like, yeah, no, this is not really working for me, comment below or give me a thumbs down. Not mad. It helps me make my videos better. So give me a thumbs up or down and I'll see you again next week.